Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about how to measure overshoot, undershoot, and settling time in the any response from the scope window. So for that, I am going to take one transfer function. So here I am going to take the transfer function that having second order system. So the main it have x square plus s plus 1 and then I am going to provide input for this transfer function so that will be constant and then I am going to measure this response from the scope ok so here I am going to provide input for the transfer function is 1 and then I am going to check the response from the scope. First, I am going to run this simulation. So, after running the simulation, you will get that response, right? This kind of response. So, let me increase that time. to uh, 100 ok and then I am going to increase that means simulate that uh, scope so now we are getting the response from the the transfer function for input of 1 ok so for this transfer function I need to find out the overshoot undershoot settling time ok so overshoot means you have to find out uh, how much is deviated from that uh, final value above that uh, final and below that final value ok so for that just you go to this option so here you will see that right so here you can click this arrow and then you see that by level measurement right so just you click this one so after clicking that option right so you will see another window here that means in same window scope window you will see this one so here just you go to open this overshoot undershoot detail ok so now we can see that overshoot value undershoot value but the settling time you are not seeing that one ok so for that you go to settings so here you see that settings just you go to click settings and then here you see that uh, the settle seeks that mean we are uh, seeking that settling time within 0 0.02 second ok so but sometime uh, some response will be take more more time ok so in, this is the default settings so now I am going to change that settle 6 equal to 25 seconds now you see that right the we are getting the settling time around 6.96 that mean around 7 seconds so from that right so we can measure the overshoot undershoot under settling time from the any response ok by using this by level measurement system so if you are going to use uh, some controller in your system so for that you need to compare the result so how much overshoot undershoot and settling time in that response so for that this option is very useful for you ok Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.